guys, this week we've got another challenge and all of you are invited to take part. So this is a two wheel skills competition. Basically, you have to get an RC car, you have to get it up on two wheels and you've got to balance it there for as long as possible. Whoever can hold it there the longest wins. So if you've seen Mike from V2Vid, he's an expert at doing it in a real monster truck. So let's see if any of you guys can do something similar with an RC toy. So everybody is invited, V2Vid, RC Sparks, Drifter Maniacs, RC Next Tuesday, anybody else that wants to join, you're all invited. So now for the rules, and I'm also going to be putting all the rules in the description box down below. So you can use absolutely any RC car that you like, and you cannot have anything sticking out of the front that's going to help hold it up. So. If you've got a bumper on the front like that, that's not allowed, you're gonna have to take it off. So basically, when you put the car up on end like that, you're not allowed anything there that's gonna help hold it up. So basically, you've got to tip it as far forward as it will go until something touches, and then you've got to let go, and it has to drop. If it holds it up, that doesn't count. So you have to take bumpers off, maybe fit bigger wheels, maybe, I don't know, do whatever, but you cannot have anything that's helping to hold it up. So you get unlimited attempts, but you must put your winning attempt at the very start of the video. I recommend that you use something that's got an instant reverse speed controller because when you got it up on end like that, you're gonna have to use your forward and back to stabilize it. So to enter, all you gotta do is make your video and I've made a special Facebook group. I'm gonna put a link to that Facebook group down below where you can upload your video or you can share your YouTube video to that page. And then the video that gets the most likes by Sunday, the 19th of April, is it 19th of April? Yep, 19th, 19th of April, uh, 6 p.m. I've done it a little bit later this time because some people over the world are still in bed. It's impossible to please everybody. And if you haven't got Facebook, you can either get a friend or a buddy or someone like that to post a video for you. And I'm also gonna share the winning video over on my community section on my YouTube channel and also on the Facebook group. So then anybody that wants a little bit of a shout out or exposure, there you go, there's your chance. People always ask me for shout outs, so there's your chance, but you've gotta earn it. So the winner is whoever can keep it up on two wheels the longest. Now you can't drive it on the side two wheels like a bicycle because I can do that with my X-Max all day long. Long, that's cheating. You're gonna have it either on the two front wheels or on the two back wheels. So also, you have to put in the title of your video how long you had it up for. Because otherwise it's gonna take me way too long to click on every single video and try and find at what point in the video it is. But don't cheat because I will check out your video to make sure that you haven't lied about your time. And then the winner is whoever legitimately has it up the longest. So no slow motions, no cheating. Rule number one is have fun. That is what counts. All right, let's get on with it. So I'm gonna have a go myself. I'm gonna start off with my Axial Grave Digger SMT10. I've also got a Traxxas TRX4 and I've got a Remo Hobby uh, crawler here. Also, to get it up, you can't use your hands. You, That's what she said. You've got to actually drive it up, try and pop it, and get it up on two wheels that way. So you can either build yourself some sort of a ramp, some sort of an obstacle. Maybe you can use some sort of an incline. It's up to use, but you can't use your hands. <laughs> So attempt number one, I'm going to try it on an incline just to see what happens. Ah, tumble wumble. All right, that didn't quite go to plan. Let's try it with a bit of wood. That's what she said. So I think this is how V2Vids does it. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so that's the technique we've got to do. We've just got to keep practicing. Ah, oh, tumble wumble. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with all the attempts, so I'm just gonna fast forward, and then I'll get you back on when I've done my best one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is a lot harder than what it looks. Oh! <laughs> Oh ho ho! Oh! <laughs> I'm not going to include that one because it's resting up on the wood, but that was probably the best so far. Oh! Oh! Ho oh, ho! Oh. That was the best so far. Getting better at this, guys. Oh, ho, ho. 
Oh, that was definitely best so far. Oh. Oh, that was a good one. They've had a little bit more power in reverse. I could have maybe brought it back. Uh oh. Servo saber just fell to bits. Oh, so I'm just gonna put this back together and then we're gonna carry on. There we go, back in action. Oh, that battery's going flat again. I forgot to charge them all up. So let's try a free cell and see what happens. 3S LiPo, here we go. Oh, it's got loads more power. Oh, it's definitely harder. It makes it a lot more sensitive. A bit like some of my haters. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's starting to get warm, guys. So I think we're going to leave it at that for now, and then we're going to try something else. I'm kind of expecting Trailer Trash Racing to win this one. If you have a look at his channel, his Instagram, he always seems to be the best at doing all the two-wheel skills and all of that stuff. V2 Vids would win if we did it with a real monster truck. So next, we're going to do it with a Traxxas TRX4, but first, we've got to remove the bumper. So now, if we tip that forward, uh, there's still too much sticking out, so we could either cut it off, uh, or fit bigger wheels. So bigger wheels it is! Oh my god, these are crazy. These actually belong to 8S Steve. So these are 17 mil hexes. So I've got these adapters here. So we should be able to fit them. Oh guys, this little adapter thing's faulty. Look in the inside of it, look. I didn't machine it properly. And now it doesn't really fit over here properly. But we managed to force it on but, oh man, this thing is rubbing everywhere. <laughs> no idea if it's even going to drive, but we're going to try it out anyway. All right, here we go. Oh, no, that's not working well. Oh no, that's just going to ruin it. A bought on that one. So next we've got the Remo Hobby, but we've got to remove the bumper because it's sticking out so far. So there we go, nothing sticking out in the front. So when we put it up on end, it won't hold up like that, it'll just fall over. By the way guys, these crawlers are dirt cheap and actually pretty capable. So if you want to know more about these and where you can get them from, there's going to be a link down below. Alright, let's give it a go, see if we can do the two wheel skills. Oh! Give up with that one. All right, back to the SMT 10 Grave Digger. I want to see if these massive, great big tyres are going to fit on there because I reckon it's going to make it less sensitive and also having more weight on there might make it easier. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Check it out, guys. Man, that actually looks really good. No idea how good it's going to be. I'm not even sure if the diffs are going to like it. Hmm.
Ah, oh, I'll give up before I kill it. Alright, oh, so put in your entries and good luck.